Hey everybody. So today what I would like to do is go out to that old abandoned uh, park and take that new, um, well new to me, that uh, second hand uh, Garrett GTAX 500 and put that four and a half inch coil on it and see if I can find anything in all that trash. Uh, the only drawback is they still have not cut that. It's like a hay field out there. Um, I drove by it yesterday and it's it's in rough shape. But I'm wondering if I put that four and a half coil on, if it's going to be small enough to where I could swing a little bit easier in there. You know, maybe I can even swing in some of the least grassy areas. I just want to see what that thing's going to do in there. Um, and I may not be able to spend very much time in there at all because of all that grass. But we'll see what happens. Here we go. Hi guys, this is it. It's still pretty bad. I got one little place right here where it's not that bad, but this was a driveway. And it's asphalt under there. But where all the good stuff is, it's right in through here. So hopefully I can get in here with a GTAX and pull some good stuff out. Now, not only do I have the GTAX 500 with a four and a half coil, four and a half inch coil, but I also have this new shovel. I don't think I'm going to lose that in this tall grass. What do you think? It's a pretty good shovel. I've used it a little bit. I like it pretty good. Let's see how we do with this new setup. I found a head to one of those uh, slate roof tacks nails. This ground is terribly hard. And it's not too hard, too easy to swing through either, this grass. Well, that's going to have to be it for that place, guys. Uh, at least until they cut that. That grass kept grabbing my coil. Uh, keep me from swinging. Uh, I couldn't get down close enough. and That's a small coil. It's not going to get very deep. Um, so, I'm not done. <laughs> I just started. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go next, but I'll figure it out. So, let's keep going. Alright guys, I'm back out here at this park. Uh, I think I was here in the last video the video before anyway I'm back out here I'll get to good stuff eventually but I am going to use the GTA GTA X uh, 500 if I put the larger coil on this time so let's see what we can find all right guys first good target with the GTA X got a dime Rang up nice and loud. That's in 1972. But once again, I'm in a nice public park here. I right, dig me a bullet. It looks like it might be about uh, 38. Could be 357. They're the same diameter. I don't know crazy stuff. Keep going. Next find is a 1982 penny. That's uh, just before they uh, started to go to zinc. So pretty much the last copper penny. Well I don't know guys. Uh, somewhere along the way I think I crossed into Mexico. Uh, I was looking at the sign and there's no English on it uh, except for there at the very bottom so I guess I better turn around and head back if there's a if there was a wall there I don't think I ever would have got this far all right 
I just found another copper penny. 1974D. So let's keep going. Disgusting, isn't it? Good old US currency. Make them of zinc and they're worthless. Let's keep going. Well, next is a 1986 dime. Alright guys, this one's a little different. Uh, I uh, got a signal. Shovel fell. Got a signal. I dug it up. Actually, I, got, I uh, pinpointed it, found it, set the pinpoint pointer down, and it started going off again. So, I found the first signal. Which is this. It's a quarter, I think. It's a state quarter. It actually looks like in South Carolina. That's where I'm where, that's where I'm at. And then I dug the other signal that the pinpointer found. And it's a spoon bowl. So Kind of weird. Let's keep going. Ah. It's a, another zinc penny. A zincin. I'm gonna start. Stop even reading the dates on those things. They disgust me. Another toasted zincin penny. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, uh, it was so hot out there. I had to have the air conditioning on. Uh, get cooled off a little bit here. Uh, that was not a very exciting hunt. Uh, it wasn't car chases and explosions. Uh, but uh, it was me learning a brand new machine. Uh, not brand new. It's second hand. But to me, it's brand new. The Garrett GTAX 500. Uh, very nice machine. I like this. I can see myself using it from time to time. Uh, a few differences. Uh, my machine of choice is uh, the Garrett AT Pro. And, uh, you know, it's got some differences from that. For one thing, the GTAX has one tone. The Garrett uh, AT Pro has three uh, so you can't just listen and, and get an idea what it is you're swinging over with the GTA X uh, you know it, you're gonna have to look at that uh, graph um, and that's another thing that's different uh, the AT Pro uh, has numbers telling you what it is you're swinging over uh, the GTA X does not it just has a graph a little cursor goes up and down and let you know what you're in range of uh, silver or gold or pole tab or iron um, but it's got two programs it's got one um, that is a preset and then one you can adjust so that's cool uh, but when you're using it you're gonna have to pretty much uh, uh, watch that graph to know what it is you're swinging over uh, you know I, I don't really consider that a drawback uh, some people might. Uh, I'm kind of neutral on that. Uh, it's got a very comfortable grip. I love that grip. I really do love that grip. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, I know why they didn't put it on their other uh, metal detectors. At least I think I do. And I wish they did. I wish my AT Pro had that grip. But the grip on the GTA X is uh, kind of a hard uh, rubber, kind of a hard rubber uh, grip that probably has a little bit of weight to it. Uh, the grip on the Garrett AT Pro is foam, very light, and that's probably why uh, that uh, rubber grip didn't make it on uh, the AT Pro or most of their other uh, detectors is because it's so heavy. I mean, it can't be that heavy, right? But that's probably, they're probably trying to cut back on weight. Uh, as far as weight goes, uh, I know most of you, I 
believe about half of you at least have AT Pros. Uh, this, the, J, the GTA X 500 is just the slightest bit heavier than the AT Pro. Uh, barely noticeable. Uh, it, it's not that heavy at all, but it's barely noticeable. Uh, it's a good balance machine. Um, and the GTA X 500, you can actually take the battery pack off and you can clip it to your belt. So if the machine's too heavy for you, you can eliminate the battery pack altogether and uh, not even have to swing that. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, with the battery pack, it was, it was light enough for me and it was nicely balanced. I, I was impressed with the balance on this. Uh, probably one drawback. Uh, there are a couple times, and this didn't happen very often, but there are a couple times I'd swing over a signal. And, uh, you know, it started out strong, and then it's just kind of petered out. It's, it'll be beep, 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 uh, you know. It just kind of die on me. Uh, I don't know why it was doing that. I, I don't know if it's because it's second hand and it and already was used uh, hard. It doesn't look like it's used hard. It, it, it looks like it was pretty much brand new when I got it. Uh, I don't know if it's indicative of that model, but like I said, it didn't happen very often, so I, I, I can deal with that. Uh, it was just kind of odd. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, let my experience uh, help you if you're deciding whether or not you want to get one of these machines. Uh, I'd go for it. You know, if, if I had a choice to buy it, uh, I'd go for it. It's a good beginner machine, I believe. Uh, it's a good coin shooter machine. Uh, I don't think you could go wrong. Uh, unless you're going to pay like a thousand dollars and you could go wrong. It's not, it wasn't even a thousand dollars brand new. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> get it. If you can get it, get it at a good price. And I think it'll be well worth your while. Anyway, guys. I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye.